All right, welcome back everybody. Recap here for June 13, 2023. Okay, not a bad day. Not a big day, um, but certainly uh, not a bad day. Made a little bit of money, so let's talk about uh, our trades. First of all, you saw me make a, a trade in the Mini Russell. The Mini Russell, very simple, HF1 buy. You know, I love HF1 buys. Uh, Enter the trade. Somewhere around uh, 9 11, 9 12 Eastern Time. Ended up getting out after it hit my profit target here. And it hit profit target around 9 40. So nice little trade on RTY. Also traded the E mini SP. I think that may have come after the first hour. Let's take a look at that. All right, here's the E mini SP 500. So in this case, this was actually a sale. This came in an hour after. Um, uh, well, about 30 minutes after the opening. It was after the top of the hour. Eastern time came in around 10.03, I think it was. No, I'm sorry. 10.08, 10.09. And uh, hit profit target at 10.17. So, short trade, what, six minutes or so. This is why you don't want to come in when you're short, when you're trading and you're scalping the market, try not to come in with an overall bias that doesn't really matter. You can have some great trades on a market that's going up. Just like you can have some great trades, buys when the market's going down. So you don't want to come in bias messes a lot of people up. So you saw me take a buy on the mini Russell and you saw me take a short on the ES made money on both sides. So yeah. That's okay. Uh, a lot of times I, that will happen. I can. Now, of course, this E mini did come in after I had already taken profit on the mini Russell, but there are going to be times when I may be long one and short the other, and they both end up making money. So you got to go with what the market's telling you. You go with the flow. That's the key to success is it's not so much the trend is your friend, but momentum's your friend. We're playing momentum. Remember when we're short term traders. All right, so overall, uh, I did also trade uh, the mini NASDAQ, so not a bad day overall on the three indices, hit them all. I didn't do anything on the gold, didn't see anything on the gold, natural gas, crude, silver, uh, didn't see anything there, and the mini down, didn't trade the mini down, just these three. So let's take a look at our stocks for the day. All right, so first trade out of the gate was SVNA. Uh, let's see, I put this trade on about a quarter till nine. Uh, it was a buy. Um, I don't have it marked here. I think this may have been an HF1. Can't remember. Sorry. Did mark it. HF1, I think it was. I had three levels. It hit two. I was uh, waiting for level three. It never hit level three. It did start to pull back. Uh, so I went ahead and got out. Picked up a small little gain on that. Um... And then we came back and we set up a nice little HF2 over here. HF2 finally did go up and it hit level two. I don't know if it, it may have hit also level three. I don't know, but once it started getting up beyond level one, I went ahead and I took my profits here. So nice gain on CVNA. Once again, folks, all we're doing is a couple things. We're just looking at patterns. I got four that I look at and we look at Einstein, which provides us with these profit targets. Uh, all of them have been, um, uh, been not only um, back tested, but also been trading them live for the market over the last 35 years. So these are very strong patterns, and Einstein is very good in high probabilities of predicting levels. And uh, that's all you need. Don't mean don't need to make this thing complicated. All right, all we're doing is we're playing price movement, price action. Okay, forget about all the fundamentals and everything. We're not concerned with fundamentals. We're short-term traders. All I care about is where the market's going over the, over the next five, 10 minutes, okay? So can have some big moves to the downside even in a very bullish market, all right? So take a look at charts someday. If you have time, go and look at your daily charts. How, look how many days are actually down days on a nice movement to the upside. The market's going up, got a lot of down days in there too. So uh goes to show you that uh, you don't, have to be moving with the trend. Momentum's your friend here. So anyway, nice little trade on CVNA. I do have one other that I want to show you. That is going to be, what is it? Yeah, FWBI. That was on 
everybody's radar today. So let's take a look at FWBI. All right, FWBI, I entered this right prior to the opening bell, maybe five, ten minutes prior to the opening bell. It wasn't a treat. It was a nice little HF1, if I'm not mistaken. Again, not sure why it didn't mark it, but I'm pretty sure it was a HF1 buy. Entered the buy. It did have this pullback here, but um, looking at book map, showed that it had still a lot of buyers sitting under the market. I didn't have a whole lot of selling coming in to provide any sort of Resistance. So on the pullback, I went ahead and I added again on FWB. I finally started coming back up, and once it hit my target again, I started seeing selling coming in. So I went ahead and I exited my buy. So took a small little loss on this first entry, but picked it up on the second one. So overall, good day overall with the stocks. Let's take a look and see. Also traded the NINE. That was a nice little trade. More 85 bucks. Not a, not, I didn't put a lot of size on NINE. That did come in later in the afternoon. So I put NINE, NINE on and that was it. Still a nice day. Not a huge day. Didn't kill it today, but still steady is what we're looking for, right? We just were looking to get in and get out of these trades and um, try not to hold too long. Sometimes I can hold a little bit too long waiting for those upper targets and um, sometimes you have to go through some heat and I don't like the heat so sometimes I'll get out early and sometimes I'll wait and it doesn't hit it right away and and the problem with that is will it eventually hit it I have high probabilities that it will but I don't want to be sitting around for an hour or two before it hits an upper target so anyway um, trying to get in and out not holding positions for too long a period of time I could have done much better on FWBI had I went ahead and just gotten out of this um, this trade right away, I actually had some entries, but they came in. They came in really early in the morning. Of course, you know I wasn't here trading this early, but we had some nice little buys over here. We had a nice little HF3 buy over here, and yeah, that was pretty much it. And everything else, just uh, I mean, it was up pretty much all morning. And then. Like always, in most of the cases, after you have that early morning surge, if there's no more buyers, it's going to pull back. And that's exactly what it did. So, in fact, I think it went down pretty much all day. So, yeah, it did come back up again a little bit. But just to fake out, put some buyers in there, and then it flushed again. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for today. Um, don't forget, um, please subscribe and hit that like button. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell, and uh, you'll be updated when I send out these updates. Any questions, please go to my uh, YouTube channel, InnovativeTradingStrategies.com. Everybody have a good day. Hopefully, we'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. Take care.